I am so excited for summer. I can't wait. It's time to go to the doctor. Done. You have two computers and your cell phone. Anxiety can make you have tummy problems. Never be scared to talk about what you feel. I don't think I ever told you like the story of what actually happened. I was still in shock and I was just so traumatized. And I Guess what, you guys? Hmm? Something so exciting as, hmm? guess what? Huh. There's only 14 days left of school. Yes. I am so excited for summer. I can't wait. What about you? Are you excited for summer? I'm so excited for June 4th. What? Why? Because it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Savannah still isn't feeling good. She got up and got ready for school this morning and her head is hurting, her throat is hurting, her stomach's hurting. So she went back to bed and I have a doctor's appointment for her later today to see what is going on with this cute girl. Are you asleep? No, she's miserable. All right, we'll see what the doctor has to say. How are you this morning? Um, Okay. I mean, I had a really hard time waking up. It's like, I'm the one that needs attention around here. This one's more sore today, and these ones are stuck yellow. If they're yellow and red and puffy around it, mm -hmm. that's this when it's one. bad. You really are need to be the center of attention, huh? Guess what? There's only 14 days of school. Sweet. Only 10 real days of school. So. If you get your homeschool done, you could be done with school for the year. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. Isn't that exciting to think you could be totally done? Yeah. Good morning, Bo 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 Bo. Good morning. Here comes Charlie to get the attention. Yep. <laughs> Poor old guy, that little pup is whopping you in the face with his tail. Why are you not eating the marshmallows? I am. I always eat those last. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you have going here with your hand. How is it? Um, it's looking really, really this good. This one just hurts the same. This one hurts a lot more today, like a lot more. I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know why. Turn over your hand. Let's see how your swelling is. It's I can start to like see your knuckles right again. There. Yeah, but it's gotten swollen right there. Yeah, well, it's looking pretty good. Taking pretty good care of it. Where are all the marshmallows? Did you eat them? Um, they're still right here. Oh, they're still right there. What's this little guy? Um, a flying um, boat. Oh, it's a flying boat. Boats that fly. I like that idea. Yeah. They make planes that go on the water. Why not a boat that flies, huh? Hey. Oh, there's a dolphin. A, there's a dolphin. And where's the killer whale? Oh, there's a killer whale in there somewhere, huh? <gasps> there he is. Time to go to the doctor. How are you feeling right now? Savannah. Feeling good? Okay, it's time to go to the doctor. Come on, hop up. Let's hope that they can give us something that will help you today. That's what we're looking forward to, right? So you had a good day at school today? Huh? Hey. Yes. How do you have a good day at school? Tell me. What's the? I had to create a play. Create a play is a fun thing. I it like fun things, but I don't understand. Yeah, there's a bee on here. Right no, that's fine. So what's on your face, dude? It's a little fly, fly. <laughs> This one's a flask one to keep your drink super cold. And this one has reusable ice cubes. This one is like a, has a little handle and flowers, unicorns, mermaid, cool grippy one. Our girls have always had a problem with not drinking enough. They don't 
drink water enough and they it gives them bladder issues it gives you your body can't work well without water we're gonna get Savannah a cool cup that hopefully will help her to remember to drink more water that will help with her tummy issues and her head issues when I don't drink enough water I get a headache we're just gonna try little things to try to help her with her issues with her pain see what we can do to help this little girl feel better Look at you multitasking. <laughs> get stuff done. You have two computers and your cell phone. Wow, work. that is the nice work setup right there. Yeah, remember we're like running multiple channels now, so it's <laughs> like we have to keep things moving forward, right? Yeah. Gigo. After school, we do something that is called power hour. So that means for an hour, the kids mommy, can do mommy. anything they want. They can play, mommy, they can open these. not do homework, not do work. <laughs> mommy. A little trick though, the kids wanted to play video games for power hour and the basement has been neglected. So I told the kids that they could play video games for the full power hour if they would clean the toy room. So that's my tip. Make the reward good enough that they actually do the work quickly and happily. There you go, tip for the day. Looks like power hour turned into just a nap today, which is okay because it's pretty gloomy outside anyway. Get it. Take it up there. Don't bend it. Okay. Hurry, run, run, run. Go, go, go. You ready, Daddy? Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, Gigo. So I was going to help you. Here we go. Oh, look at that, Gigo. She hit the wall. We just had Sarah's dad over and stepmom and her siblings over for family night. And we had pizza and ice cream and root beer. All of those things that I said I wasn't gonna eat this month. I ate lots of them. And now the boys are all riled up. All the kids are all riled up. All the all the monkeys are all riled up and running around like crazy and being monkeys. Like I said, these guys are being crazy, crazy, crazy. I actually didn't even put gel in my hair today. It's like been one of those days where nothing real productive happened for me. I mean, I got a lot of stuff like administration stuff, I guess you could call it. Otherwise, I didn't get much done. Sarah's got to go to a meeting now, and so I'm in charge of making sure the kids get in bed and clean up. This might not happen anytime soon. To make tomorrow better, I'm gonna be happy, wake up a little bit brighter, and take medicine, see if that'll help me feel better. Try to sleep some more tonight. If you're having anxiety like I was today, even if you can't really tell that you're having anxiety, that's something you can do is ask for help and get help and know that you're gonna get help. That's what you can do if you're having anxiety. Oh, Az is in bed. Do you have your jammies on, dude? Yeah. Yeah, Az. off of bed, we're gonna talk about Disneyland. One of our favorite things to do as we're getting ready to go to bed at night is we talk about Disneyland and, and the rides that we went on, huh? We just think about and re remember them, huh? So we've talked about It's a Small World. What's this one called? Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. What's that one called? Um, Pirates again. Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. Okay, I just learned something. I've actually been sitting here. We turned the camera off and been sitting here for probably 45 minutes now. I have a have a mom and I'm a dad and I have a kid named Gas. 
Oh, um, bless you. My Casper is a boy named a go ghost. So, let me let me just just try to understand this. So, you're you're a dad. Yeah. And you have a kid. Yeah. And your kid is a boy. Yeah. And his he's a ghost. Yeah. And his name is Casper. Cuz I told him I said I, I said, "Where's your beard? Tell me where your beard is." Um, I don't have a beard yet. Why? Cuz uh, see my beard? Beard is a chin. <laughs> I love this. Do you see why I've been sitting here for 45 minutes? These are the conversations that we've been having. I've learned so much from Gigo and I've learned so much from Az. This is my favorite time of night right here, Gigo. So, update on the dog bites. Um, I just barely had him soaking in Epsom salt and then I went and got in the shower. The actual wound part is getting like white and bleeding and I'm not sure what that is. I don't think I ever told you like the story of what actually happened because when I came home that day, um, I was super traumatized and I came home and I sat on the couch and cried for a while so I didn't talk about it. I think on Saturday if I talked about it then I would just start crying because even on Sunday when I was thinking about it, I was like, like during sacrament, just thinking about like what happened. I was like on the verge of tears because it was so traumatic. Um, so what happened, we, I talked to their owners and I talked about them what happened and I think we helped each other understand a little more like what the dog did and why he did it. I was babysitting and we heard their youngest daughter. She was telling the dog, um, you gotta get out, get out, get out. And so she comes up to me and she goes, Danielle, can you come and help me get the dog outside? I said, sure. And he was in the laundry room. And um, when I was talking to their owner, she said that that's where he normally gets baths and he hates getting baths. And so when I went in there to help her, um, she was like tugging on his collar and he was just staying put. And so I had opened the door and I went by his side and I barely tapped his back and he turned and like jumped up and kind of like turned in air and this dog is like about bigger than Charlie I want to say a little smaller than half the size like twice the size of him and so he jumps up in the air and turns like twists his body and slams his paws on my shoulder and he lunges towards my face and then I hit him like right underneath his muzzle and hit his head out of the way so I didn't get bit in the face. As he was going down, he grabbed onto my right hand. That's, I think that's what this wound is for. The one that just has the puncture wound, the straight in canine wound. Um, after that one, he just kept, like, he just, it wasn't like one simple, like, fast bite. It was almost like attack sort of thing. Like, he just, it was multiple bites. Like, I remember being bit over 10 times in like half like 10 seconds and so he just kept biting me he was just so focused on my hands and i was like at first i was so shocked i couldn't like pull away because he was also super strong and he'd let go and hurry and bite again before i could pull away i had my arms out like this and i forced my body against this arm to turn and pull it out of his mouth and then i hurried and ran outside before he could get to me again. And then I remember being outside and just blood was puddling on my hand and dripping to the cement. And I was so shocked, like I was so shocked and scared because I didn't know what, at first I couldn't process what happened. I was so scared of what just happened. I was so freaked out. At first, like he bit at me out of fear, but then thinking that he was the alpha dog, he, bit me because he didn't want someone he didn't know telling him what to do because he realized that i was trying to get him outside and so i'm that's what we think what happened and so i looked up at the door and he was standing there with kind of this look that was like this is my house don't tell me what to do in my house i was trying to get in the house and make sure that the baby was okay and i literally remember like trying to walk around the dog and trying to get to the fence without him coming out from the house I remember saying like to him, please don't come down here. Please stay where you are. Please don't come at me. I was like, okay, I need to call my mom before anything happens. And so I called my mom and I like didn't want to say anything. I didn't even 
like I couldn't even think of what to say so I just turned the camera around and just showed like my bleeding hands and because I didn't know what I was supposed to say just say like hey I got bit by dog or because I was so like shocked and like scared in that moment that I didn't even want to talk so they went and put the dog in the kennel and then at that point my mom was there and my dad looked at my hands and then he just hugged me and I sat there and cried because I was still in shock and I was just so traumatized I was so scared of just by looking out the window at my dogs and then I that's why I was hyperventilating and I was crying because like I saw a look on Charlie's face that was kind of like why are you crying why are you looking at me like so scared what's going on and he wasn't like barking he was just he looked like so worried kind of thing and Polar just looked at me like so confused I have no hard feelings against the dog I have no hard feelings against the family um, I mean the dog was just acting in the moment and I really I feel like we do that a lot we just we don't bite people <laughs> um, I feel like as like people we do that a lot we act in the moment and we say things that we don't want to and then other people feel guilty for what we did or other people feel pain for what we did even if we were just doing something that we thought was best or out of fear or stuff like that and so um i don't i'm not mad at the dog at all like some people are like that dog should be put down and some people are like that dog needs major consequences and um that family they said they're gonna do training for the dog um, like today I called um, the lady who I was babysitting for and she's like um, we're gonna do training but if you I just don't want to put them down and if that's what you want I will make an exception we'll, we'll do that and I told her the last thing I want is to have to put that innocent dog down because yes it bit me and but that's just a dog's nature I mean it felt like it was the alpha dog and it didn't know me and so it was acting in the moment and I am not I don't have any hard feelings against that dog I'm not laying down in bed every night and saying oh that stupid dog I'm so mad that that stupid dog isn't being major the consequence no I'm not I don't I don't want you guys thinking that I I'm so mad at this dog I'm not I'm not mad at this dog. If any of you guys were like have been bit by dogs before and are afraid of dogs, I kind of I know how that feels. Even at my grandma's house yesterday, she has little dogs and when they were barking close to me, I just tensed up and I wanted to reach down and just like throw a ball and I didn't know if it was going to bite me. I just tensed up and I tried to pretending that it wasn't there and um I didn't want to do anything because I was just so scared and like they were sniffing my legs and I didn't want to reach out and touch them without letting them like sniff my hands first and totally making sure it's okay um because I was just so scared like and I think it's gonna be like this for a while just with other people's dogs, other people's dogs that I don't know that well. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be like this. It may be like this for a week or a month or maybe even forever. Um, but if you guys have been bitten by dogs, tell me where. And if you ha if you are afraid of dogs now, or if you were and if you got over it, because um, that would really help. And thank you for all of the love you're giving me um, because of <laughs> what happened. Um, I love you guys so much you guys are all the best and even if things aren't happening to you um, and it happens to us I love how much you guys just go and you just give us so much love and you tell us how um, much you guys love us and you give us advice on what to do and I love that so much you are worth it and I love you guys so much see you guys tomorrow bye